inside the locker room. Players' final few moments to prepare for the game. And the task ahead. Traffic heading in and out of downtown Minneapolis. And nothing. Hey, Kevin. We have... He sure does. Fantastic, David. Thank you. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Barrett and Randall are in the forward positions. Rose is out there with Reggie Bullock. And it's Gibson in at the center, filling out the middle. And for the Timberwolves. They've got Carl Anthony Towns. Edwards is out there with McDaniels. And there's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Beasley in at the two-guard spot. Up top, Edwards. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Tonight, lots of youth and energy on the floor. Brent, what kind of game do you expect to see? Highlights, Kevin, mixed in with a few lowlights. Uh, just guys getting ahead of themselves and speeding themselves up. But sometimes those can be exciting, especially for, for fans who have really good seats. Keep your hands up. Well, Randall can get up there with the best of them. It's a quick move. There's 117 left to play in the first quarter. Russell looking around. High arcing shot, and that's two points on the layup. The defense coming right at D'Angelo. He adjusts, and then that release so tough over the top. Here's Rose. Connects on the 17-footer. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more on their radar after knocking down something like that. And it's Towns missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Here's Rose out to the right wing for three. Bullock traps in the tray. And that was the play to make. Rose making the right read. For Minnesota, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Edwards passes to Beast. Russell against Rose. Up top, Russell. Barrett with the ball. The pass to Rose. From deep. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Nick. Recently, we had a chance to speak with R.J. Barrett about what we I hate losing, but... Dan Barrett, a guy who's accustomed to winning, at least is an amateur grip. I mean, he won a championship in high school, could have won one in his only year of college. He's going to be a driving force for the organization to get better. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far, what do you guys think? Boy, the, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. Yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. And New York, looking at who they've got. We've got Alec Burks. Noel is out there with Robinson. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thank you, and good evening. The Knicks made changes in coaching and the front office since the start of last season. But the question is, can they move forward? Their last winning season was back in 2013. Amidst the frenzy that is the media in New York, they'd like to make headlines going forward for all the right reasons this time. Kevin? Thank you, David. Timberwolves trail by five. A Kogi inside the three-point line. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Now Barrett. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. The feed to Noel. Got a piece of it. Shot clock at six. And to get open is Robinson. No good there. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Here's Rubio. Pass to Edwards. Takes a three. 
That shot, no good. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Knicks. They're up by five. And we'll get it going after this from the target center. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. For the Knicks, the first quarter was pretty even. They didn't get more than a one-possession lead in the period. Three points was as big as it got. For the Knicks, Kenny, what was your impression? It's been a strong performance for them on the glass. They're hustling. More often than not, the first guy to get to the board has been one of theirs. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get... Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game that's been so far. Here's Barrett. Five point lead, the biggest of the game. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, we've got Russell. McDaniels is out there with Edwards. Then it's Carl Anthony Town. And it's Beasley in a two guard. Well, there's a tremendous demand in the NBA right now for the kind of build that R.J. Barrett gives you at that guard position. So sturdy, so strong, and he has a chance to be one of the best guards in the league for many years to come. That free throw, no good. And Brent, some breathless comparisons for R.J. Barrett. People throwing out names like, like Grant Hill and Tracy McGrady. I mean, that's a, a ton of optimism around names like that. But this young player has a drive and a will. And I think he has the kind of composure to show you what he's made of. And if it reaches anywhere near those other players, Kevin, he's going to have one heck of a career. Rose with the ball. Now guarded by Tom. Dwayne Rose always been one of the best at getting to the line. The D has to avoid fouling in those situations. And as he gets older, we've seen Derrick Rose coming out of his shell a bit more. Early in his career, he was wary of strangers and the media. First one falls for him. And growing up, Derrick Rose protected by his family from the dangers of Chicago. Then, Greg, after starring at the uh, University of Memphis, he was drafted by his hometown Bulls. Anointed a savior from day one. You talk about a life under the microscope. Sports writers picking him apart, rabbit fans wanting a piece. In a lot of ways, it's probably better for him not playing in Chicago. And the officials call a traveling violation. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. And the Knicks making a change here. Toppins checked in. Russell dishes to Culver. Pass to McDaniels. There's 57 seconds left in the third. Really left alone that time. Russell's got five now. Well, excellent awareness. Enough room for D'Angelo to squeeze one off that time. And here's Rose. Passes it to Barrett. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Reed's checked in, and Ricky Rubio subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Robinson against Towns. Rubio outside. They grab their own miss. That one's in there. The next lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Towns. Uh, the long arms, the positioning. Towns is excellent at knowing how to gobble up those second chance opportunities. 
And he comes up with the deuce. He's got five. And challenging the bigger defender coming through in the biggest moment. Yeah, this is a big time moment. And so him stepping up his intensity, staying in attack mode, that's nice. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Knicks lead by two. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Setting the four for the Knicks. They've got Noel. He's out there with Alec Burks. Robinson is out there with Derrick Rose. Rubio finds Beasley. To tie it up. It's not going to go for him. Some solid defense from Rose. Let's it go with a three. Nailed from three-point land. And that's a shot Rose must make consistently. When he's making it rain from there, this team is hard to match up with. Towns against Robinson. Feeds to Edwards. Five to shoot. That one's in there. The next lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Beasley. And Beasley does a nice job seeing through the defense that time. Here's Rose. The teardrop falls in. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Towns. Robinson pulls it in. Inside. And Noel gets to Robinson. Rose against Rubio. A floater. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Minnesota calls timeout. They're down by seven. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Well, they'll need a very quick basket out of this timeout. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Derek Rose. And when a player scores over half his team's points, you know he's going to be our pick. Even when he's been the exclusive focus of the defense, they just haven't been able to keep him in check. A tremendous individual effort. If he could only contribute like this for them every night, you can't overstate how much better it makes this team when he has a game like this. And on the road, no less. Minnesota calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. 29 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Russell against Rose. Shoots from the high post. They get the rebound. Towns kicks to Edwards. Count it! And now they trail by just four. And how about the quick eyes there from Towns? Finds a hole in the defense and exploits it there with a nice find. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And an intentional foul right there. You had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And for Derrick Rose, the question will be how much of his MVP level of play from 2011 can he recover? You'd love to see him return to that form. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead. No good from Beasley. And so they foul intentionally. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. He 
He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Here's Noel. From deep three-point range, the shot comes out. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that uh, that's unfortunate. And so it's the Knicks with the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what